Hey everybody, this is Mufrat Karim Aritra from Bimzer International. Tonight, I'm going to demonstrate the capability of BEAM. BEAM stands for Business Enterprise Asset Management. It is an extremely helpful resource for our manufacturing industry because it can organize your asset and material management. So BEAM helps you conduct predictive, preventive, and periodic maintenance operations. BEAM will help you manage all the activities and maintenance of all of your assets, which is like manufacturing machine, trucks, forklifts, and trailers. Even spare parts like your bumpers, transmission gears, and screws, you can manage them with BEAM. So these are all the operations that you can execute for your manufacturing company with the aid of BEAM. So let's get started. So you can use Beam on your cell phone device. For instance, you can add and check your asset status information. You can create work requests and you can create work order or you can manage the material transaction just by using your cell phone. Most importantly, you can use Beam on the web browser. Every user has their own design on their dashboard since all the widgets are sizable movable and modifiable. Additionally, all of these widgets, they can interact with one another. So additionally, this dashboard will provide you a quick way of tracking with KPI. So now on your top left, this is the main menu of all of your available modules. At the very top, we can see the asset module. Inside the asset module, let's first look at the map function. So the map function is going to take you to a real Google map. You can zoom in and zoom out of the map. And additionally, you can also pinpoint the location of all of your facilities on the map. And you can also integrate your assets by equipping with the GPS. And additionally, you can click the graphical asset tree under the asset module. When you click the graphical asset tree, you will see a blueprint and you can pinpoint the location of all of your fixed assets. And when you hover over on your assets with your mouse, you can see all these additional information of your assets. When the color of all of these assets are in green, it means that all the assets are in good condition, they're working completely fine. But whenever they turn into red, that means that they need to be under maintenance. And also you can directly carry out a maintenance order or a work request or even check the history of these assets just by hovering over and then just by pressing the right click. And now I'm going to show you the asset tree. From here, you can see the structure of your whole company. So by looking at this structure, you will develop a better idea of how the asset is organized in all these different locations. You can also find all the asset lines through this asset tree. You can define the main asset and the dependent asset or the assignment or the maintenance that you make on the main asset. You can define all of them. Let's go to the asset list now. So in this list, we can see the information regarding your assets. You can simply click the add button to create a new asset into the system. You can also enter a unique asset code like asset name, asset status, asset department, location, brand, model, and buying price. So furthermore, you can define the material that will be used by this new asset and the responsible maintenance team. You can even enter the insurance and inspection information over here. You can also attach all the handbooks, instruction or certifications under the documents fields. You can also upload a picture of this asset. And then after you're done, you're finished with everything, you can just save it and the new asset will be saved in Beam. Now, Beam gives you the flexibility to create over 10,000 ready-made reports. Now I'm going to show you the asset status report and whenever the asset status report is clicked, 
after you, you have to press the prepare button in order to generate the report and beam will afterwards create a report with a pane chart and table this will just visibly demonstrate to you a uh, status of all of your current assets you can send this report uh, to someone else with schedule sending. You can send it to yourself or someone else as well. And with schedule sending, it means that Beam will automatically send you the report at a specific time. So now let's towards our maintenance management module. So with this maintenance management module, you can create a new work request when you find out that something is wrong with your equipment. So you can create a work request immediately with this module. And this module is mostly used by the operational level employee. And as an operational level employee, you can create a work request here by filling out all these required fields. You can save that request and you can also create a new work request. So when you go to your work order function under the maintenance module, you will see the work request you just created and you will find it right over the work order list. And if you're a manager, you can now assign the new work order to a responsible personal employee. So you can just basically assign another person for that work order. And also, you can also schedule an start date and an end date. You can also use all of these other functions like use materials, third-party services, you can add details uh, in all of these functions. They're not actually required, so it's basically up to your preference. You can fill it out to however you want to. And last but not the least, we can calculate our cost with the cost category, which is right under at the bottom. So the cost will be calculated automatically with Beam. Let's look at the work order calendar, which is also part of our maintenance management module. So you can see that the new work order that you just created is showing up on the work order calendar. Other than that, you can also view the details of the work calendar just by right clicking on it. You can schedule a periodic maintenance in Beam whenever you have fulfilled the preventive maintenance definitions. And we can create a new scheduling of your periodic maintenance and you can choose the target asset there. You can also specify the time period to carry out the next maintenance activity. For instance, let's just pick 90 days. And after you save it, you will find this new periodic maintenance order on your work order calendar. So now this is uh, the maintenance management module in a nutshell. Now we're going to take a look at our material management module. Now under the material, material management module, you can record all the materials that you have in your company, like the materials name. So you can enter the information with an unique identifying code, the materials serial number, like the materials brand, like the model of the materials, or, and you can also add documents and picture uh, into your materials information. And then inside the, warehouse parameter field enter the maximum minimum and safety stock of your material so other than adding all of these information regarding your material you can even keep track of the transaction of your materials furthermore you can record additional information of your materials location quantity and unit price now let's take a look at the personal module where you can record all these information regarding your employee. You can in input information regarding your employees, like their name, departments, teams, photos, and their wages. You can also input their address, their education, and their work experience with these other forms. Now let's take a look at the function called employee occupation calendar. So through this, you can compare the schedule of different employees and have a basic overview of all of your employees schedule. 
So now we have come across to the end of this demonstration and here's some references in our in the manufacturing industry that we have gathered so far and you can also find more about us on our official website. So thank you for watching and you can always contact us for a free demonstration session.